you wrong. Yeah, I got a brand new spirit speaking and it's done. Woke up on the side of the bed like I won. Talk like the wind in my chest that that's on. G5 in the US to Taiwan. Now who can say that? I wanna play back. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. The mountains top, walk on water, I got power, feel so royal One second, I'ma strike for you, diamond, platinum, no more for you That adrenaline, never giving in, giving up's not an option, gotta get it in Witness, I got the heart of 20 men, no fear, go to sleep in the lion's den That glow, that spark, that crown, you're looking at the king of the jungle now Strong in the heavens, feeling Hey peeps, great news! You can help us to really make a difference in someone's life by donating to the VO Peeps Career Education Scholarship Fund, a fund created for voiceover artists by voiceover artists. At VO Peeps, we strongly believe that there is no more valuable investment than education and financial help when it's needed and the life change it provides. You can make a difference and together our voices can build dreams. Your generous support allows us to set bold goals, gifting voiceover professionals and aspiring artists around the globe with educational opportunities and a helping hand. Each year, our fund awards thousands of dollars in scholarships and financial aid to deserving artists, including VIP admission to industry conferences and events, private coaching with top voiceover professionals, audio and technical education, and more. We thank you in advance for your support as we continue to grow and reach out to the community, providing educational access and opportunity. Going forward, the VO Peeps Career Education Scholarship Fund continues to seek funding and in-kind product to help media professionals. For more detailed information about our fund and how you can help, please visit our Career Education Scholarship page at vopeeps.com forward slash donate or you can contact Ann Ganguza at ann at bopeeps.com. I think he's, oh, okay. Yay, well, welcome back, and we're here, VO Peeps, with Chris and Katie, and we're going to do some live dirt. Oh, my God! Oh, what's that? Oh, Trivia. She oh, thinks and, it's her theme music. And, That's and when they look, start that <gasps> opening. <laughs> Chris, tell them what they're going to win. Katie, tell them what they're going to win. <gasps> Chris, they're going to win Secret Agent Barbie Software. Oh. Now, Whoa. this is a CD-ROM, yeah. which I don't know if you can even play these anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> the good news is it's an antique, Whoa. and it's signed by Chris Anthony. All right. Yeah. That is very good. You are just I've been brutal. studying you. Okay. Oh, and here's okay, and here's the question. Everyone's role model. Here's the question. The question is, what is? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, I like this one better. Okay. What character does Chris portray when she's in the top of the castle talking to Sir Brocco Broccoli? Ah, in the back. Uh, she's raising her hand going. It's <laughs> Amy, Amy. Rapunzel. Rapunzel, you are right. Yay! Our winner, Amy Fisher. Nobody else did their Okay, homework. I know, you guys. You could have just brought your list she and, got, and taken Amy, you're rocking it, girl. She's not right. good for you. All right. Okay. So, so here's how our live. <laughs> See, everybody's so excited. Guys. Here's how our live directed sessions are going to work. Everybody that walked into our event this evening received a yellow ticket. And so we will be drawing these randomly for uh, a chance to, well, you're going to get up, you're going to get up at the a mic with either Chris Please, yeah, and Katie. So I think we're going to have Katie start. So Katie, why don't you take, pick, pick the lucky ticket? First number is four, two, five, nine, three. Two. Oh. Mm. And they're lucky. Uh, they left. <laughs> no. Lucky VO is? 425932. You got it. Oh. Craig. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so. 
know which one I want him to. You do? Oh, okay, go ahead. Ones. Which one? Either, either the you do Brock Barbie? one or, or the Brock? that that list of what that does list his voice of. What sound like? So that um. Can I deeper. hear you say something? Say something. Oh, okay. You're good. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I think, uh, I, I want the producer. Okay, you're going to... Oh, the producer, the producer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, while he's reading, uh, while he's just kind of familiarizing himself a little bit like that, what, um, what, where did you get these? This is a... This is a, uh, 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 adventure webisode. It's a webisode that oh, was okay. made for the internet. It's set in the year 2500. Uh, do you want to hear more or no? Well, oh, it's okay. a, you're the director, so whatever you think he needs to know. Well, is he going to do this right now? Yes. Or are you not handing him out and then? No. Oh, okay, all right. Like, so, yeah. so that's why he's, it's quick. He's, it's all right. quick, it's, it's cold. cold. So while he's reading this, let me tell you, it's set in the year 2500, many decades after animals cease to exist on our planet, our characters Ooh. live in down low, the Blade Runner-esque bowels of the city. Up top is dominated by sleek skyscrapers and hovercraft and the unspoken rule of the producer, a super mogul who determines what entertainment and merchandise people will consume. <laughs> what? Our, yes. Wow. Our lead girls, Nikki, Cam, it's kind of like um, Streets of Fire, I guess. You know, Poor guys having kind of a sweating attack. Our lead them. girls, Nikki, Cammy, and May, are trying to change everything and rebel against the producer's <laughs> rule. They refuse to be controlled. And okay, so the producer, this is his care. I'll give him some time to look this over. The producer is the uber entertainment mogul of our world. He's wealthy beyond <laughs> reason, and his power stretches into all aspects of daily life. <laughs> Think of him as a mafia boss with a creative side. Oh. He really does have a talent for spotting up and comers and turning them into super. Superstars. He's sly and not above using violence in order to get what he wants. He's obsessive and hates anything natural. Did you get all that? Like your hair <laughs> color. Yeah. Like your hair color. So now our global, there we go, our global peeps are, are commenting. The ordinary, <laughs> non-enhanced humans and the thought of dirty animals returning to the, his world makes him cringe. He's definitely the ultimate version of a player, but in no way is, sometimes you get like a one word description. <laughs> okay, but in this case, you get, you get three lines and, and a two page description. But in no way is he parody or stereotype of Hollywood. If you met him on the street, you would think he was a pitiable eccentric. If you only heard his voice, you would think he was a wise sage. Yeah. yeah. There you go. No pressure, Craig. No pressure. No pressure. So, and what is he reading? Which line is he reading? Because I think three there's multiple lines. parts. There's yeah. got three, three lines. lines. After all that, he's only got three lines. Do you lines? see where the lines? Yeah, you got it. Okay. You got off light. So, all right. so, so in this. Okay. He's so cute. He's so all cute. All right, Fred. Okay, so in this first area, he, it says that he's self-composed, but obviously annoyed. And then as he builds up, he starts to lose it on the third line. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yeah. Not to worry, my dear. As always, your producer has everything under control. The secret to my stardom, my darling, is one important word. The secret is me. When will they learn? I give them everything, everything a human could possibly want or need. And what do they do? They throw it back in my face. That's what they do, and for this, they are very real repercussions. Okay, good, Fred, for being the first one up. Thanks, Betty. Now, do I do I get to give him some direction Wait, here? This name's not Fred. Craig. Craig. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry I thought Fred. somebody yes. said Fred. I'm I sorry. Fred Bird. Fred Bird. <laughs> okay, so I know it's really hard to be the first one up, but it is. What? What in the direction? Okay, what does it say? He Read me the direction. Did I miss something? Just, read, just bear with me. It's hard for me to the see all this. The, uh, the direction on line one. Self-composed, but obviously annoyed. Okay, so he, he, the girls he's talking to are teenage girls. 
okay? He rules the world. He's trying to make them stars, okay? And they're freaking out about something probably because he says not to worry, right? And he's got that sage voice, like he knows everything and he rules the world. So try to imagine you're talking to some teenagers who you really don't want them to freak out because teenage girls just really do annoy you, okay? Um, and, and he says, and see how full he is of himself? You know, the secret to stardom is what, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> you lost them on Me. the first one. Is you. Yeah. So but does that, I mean, he's, he holds the strings in this world, right? Good, he's, good. He calls it. So think, I want you to think about, it's really important when you do these auditions, and especially when you do animation, that each line has a different feel because you have to show your range and your sense of who the character is and give it some kind of something, affectation, if you can, you know, put on some, you know, importance in your voice, right? Okay. He's got this, you know, he, he might be this <laughs> tall, but he rules the world and it's all about him. Mm. And then, when losing it means he's getting angry, they're not doing what he's doing, right? What, he, what he's asked. When will they learn? You know, I give them everything they could possibly want. And then what do they do? Have your, do you have kids? No. Oh, well, this is the problem. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, they throw it back in my face. You know, they're not appreciating what he's doing for them, making them stars, right? And now he's mad, and he says, there will be very real reaper, you know, wait till you're, you know, I've got a strap <laughs> kind of thing. You want to try it again now? Take your time with it. Could eat you? it. Because this is a big character, so you can eat the yes. scenery with this guy. Do you, you know agree, what, Chris? Yeah, that was good. That was what good would help market. would be more Just people behind Spanish, the glass though. right now. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> more people behind the glass. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Glass, yeah. I, I did a show once. There was like <laughs> network people, producer people, writer. I mean, there must have been eight people. We'd read a line and we'd look up, and three would be doing this, four <laughs> would be doing this. We'd be like, this is gonna be a long day. Okay. All right, Fred Rocket. All right, so take your time, and, and you're talking to them, and you're obviously annoyed, but you're not losing it yet. <laughs> okay. Not to worry, my dear. As always, your producer has everything under control. The secret to stardom, my darlings, is one very important word. The secret is me. When will they learn? I give them everything. Everything a human being could possibly want or need. And then what do they do? They throw it back at my face. That's what they do. And for this, there are very real repercussions. Oh, good. I like the way you read that last part. That was good. It's so different from commercial reading, isn't it? Um, I went to um, really good for um, that. I, the, my biggest direction would be, if you really wanted to do animation, bigger and faster. OK. And as a matter of fact, I went, uh, Gordon Hunt, who directed all this stuff at Hanna-Barbera, I went to a night honoring him, and he said he got I was going to get fired the first week, and then he figured out what they wanted was faster and louder. And that would be the direction I would give you. Don't be afraid. It has to be big, because our voices are what really gives these characters on the screen their personalities. They have to be big. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. You know, it's like characters you've met in your life. You've met you've met somebody in your life that's been that person you're reading for. There's always somebody you can pull out of your brain that goes, "Oh, that old school teacher." That old, you think about it, there's people in your life you're going to pull from, so it's like there's a whole stall in you of characters. Yeah, think so about what Chris unleash said. Them. Who do you know who's like that? Yeah. And try to channel that personality. And it won't be them. Like you can have, every woman in here could do Zsa Zsa Gabor and it will sound different. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay? <the> because, <laughs> <laughs> except for Chris, <laughs> but, but what, I, what I'm saying is, if you, if you think of the same, if, if you think of June Foray's witch, whatever, you, that's what comes to mind, but when you do it, but when you do it, but when you do it, darling, it won't, no, that's I could, not the voice. If I, really I got to do to. that, though, for the little... Disney thing, Zsa Zsa. Okay, who's this? Okay, well, Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa. Hello, Gilligan. We're going to draw. Hello, Gilligan. We're what I'm draw. saying is anybody can pick that. any standard okay. character and keep that in your mind. It still won't be like you're imitating. Even if you think you're dead on, it's not, and it'll be you. So be okay with that. Yes. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> I just want to make one point, Miss um, Anne. Um, you guys, in your throat, too, you're going to find that you have different places in your throat that you make different sounds. And this is one of the things that have helped me do a lot of toy voices, um, like really <laughs> without being obnoxious. Like really when you're up high, when you're really up high, you do really young voices. And as you go down, you could make her just a little bit, a little more like a teenager and you bring her down a little bit. And then she kind of comes down a little bit more and she can be kind of that mom. And then as you go down a little bit older, she's got to get a little more of that scratchiness to her, and she's older. And then she gets really old down into here. And it's like you've got places in your nice. throat that you yeah. can open up, and yeah. you've got characters in there. Mm-hmm. It's like a frying pan. In the South, they have frying pans. That what they do, they never wash them. They just let the seasons the cooking that they cook comes into the pans, you know. Mm-hmm. You don't, and it's like you're seasoned. You guys are seasoned. You got a lot of stuff in you, and you just have to just unleash it and let yourself do it. Don't be afraid. Who cares what you're acting like? Obviously, I don't. But I mean, it's like you just gotta go for it. You know what I mean? Don't think about it. Just go for it. And you know, you were, you're a good reader. That was really a lot of pressure on there. But I was just gonna say, you just needed to get a little more like you're in control. You know what I mean? You're a man. I know. If you got mad, if somebody cut you off out there in that street in a car, there'd be a different man coming out of you. You just have to kind of think about someone's a little more strength to you. But, you know, you're a good good reader. You know, she's a good director. Sorry. I guess I'm just okay. talking. Okay. Well, let's, well, let's get somebody else up there now. Yeah. And, and I think we're, we'll have One Chris. of your scripts. We'll have one of your scripts, Chris. Well, so, I... But before, <clears throat> before you pick the script... You might not want to be picked. Because... What script are you going to use, Chris? Barbie. <gasps> Barbie! Oh, and Barbie and Ken. All right. Oh, pick it, pick it, pick it. I'm so we need two. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to pick two. All right. Awesome. And the, and the first winner is? Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa Dye. Four, two, five, <laughs> nine, three, seven. <gasps> Yay! Oh, yeah! 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 Ken! Come on, Ken! We picked our Ken. Come on, buddy! And now, all right. And What's now we name? need a Barbie. Brian? Brian. No, Brian. 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 Brian, you are ready for the ride of your life here. <laughs> and we need a Barbie. And you need a. We need a Barbie. Now, what if I pick a man? Just pick it. Let's oh, see. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is my a- kind of group. I like it. What the heck, huh? What if it's Jerry? Come on, Jerry, just do one. Once in your life. You sat her all this time. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I just bring Jerry up. I, I just love it. I just love that guy. Okay. And the number is? Four. Two. Five. Five. Nine. Three. Five. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And the number is? No. No. Four, Somebody two, has to five, have. nine, Wait. three, five. It's George. George, is this your number? George has all the sound. What you no. Don't yell. Nobody? Did you see what you just did to him with his headphones on? <laughs> okay, this person is obviously not with okay. us anymore. All right, we're going to have to pick a nice one. another one. <laughs> I'll find All right. that here. And the next now. winner is, see that lady with the glasses right there? The I would just love her to be Barbie. She's just so cute. Corey. She's just so good. Corey. Oh, Corey. Okay. Okay. All right. Four, two, five, nine, four, zero. Okay. Me. Uh, Yay! No. Where's your script? I guess good. Okay. This is short. It won't be very. Look at his face. He's like dying. He's going, oh, Do I have to do this? You're going to make me do this? <laughs> He's Ken. Okay. <clears throat> I picked a script for these two. Take your oh, mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a professional. Okay. 
This is a Rapunzel. Barbie is Rapunzel, and Ken is the prince. Oh, perfect! You have, so, a, you have a narrator too. Well, I didn't think can about that. Can you do three? Maybe we need a narrator. Can we do three okay. at a time? Well, we could. Well, if you want them to do the whole script, I mean, do you have an extra? It's only a couple script? lines. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. What the heck? Let's just pick. You know what? Pick the third the person. Hey, I mean, VO peeps, we've never done this before. That's this right. is our night. We are Crazy doing it our way. New ground. It's, it's insane. insane. Yes person that comes here to be your house is not going to do it Because there's way. a narrator, too. All right, there's a narrator. <laughs> and the narrator is... Wait a minute. I'm having a psychic moment. <laughs> Chris, please. The narrator is... 425941. Oh. oh, what are you doing and out there? You're sleeping and collecting one. dust? Where is this person? Where's that four narrator? 425941. He scared him. They're, oh, they ran out the door. All right. Yeah, you know what the next doing? one. Okay. Here next. Go. Okay. Here, I'm going slow. Four two five nine four two. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mark. Right. Right. Mark will be the narrator. Do you have enough script? I do because I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That gives more people a chance you. to read it. That's good. There you go. Okay. Who we got up there? Who's right there? Uh, and she highlighted them in a few Ryan? different colors. Wow, that's, you that's or Ken, okay? Quiet on the set, quiet on the set. I'm the director here. This is good. Prince Ken. That's this right. is so much fun. Sorry. <laughs> you know what they say in voiceover, if it's not yellow, it's not red. But she's got orange and pink. Okay, <laughs> I did this because I like highlighters. Okay. <laughs> uh, you are Prince Ken. Brian, and who's our gentleman in the middle? Mark. Mark. Oh, He's the narrator. Mark, Mark the narrator. Mark. <laughs> okay, you're the narrator. <laughs> and you're Barbie. Hi, Barbie. It's a <gasps> oh. oh. Nice. Oh. And the her dress <laughs> and wondered what she's been doing. Pamela, you go, Barbie. girl. Okay. So what? I need some glasses. Thank you. <laughs> Can you hear you? No, this is worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, It'll be totally the narrator awesome. here is once upon a time in a faraway land, you're going to create a fairy tale. So you're going to think about all the fairy tales you've heard in your life read and you're kids. read to your kids. You're going to invite those kids. You want those kids to come and listen to the story of about a man named Jed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Rapunzel. <laughs> okay, so you're the narrator, okay? Prince Ken, you don't got a whole lot of lines, so there's a lot of pressure on the ones you have. That usually makes it harder because you got to be good quick. <laughs> okay. Yes. So. That's what they've always said. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, Brian, you are the prince. You must think you love this woman. She is stunningly beautiful. She's up in a tower. She's repuzzled she with long blonde hair. Beautiful. She looks a little bit like this, actually. Okay, and so you're, you're calling to her, and you want her to hear you, and you are all that you can be as a prince. Okay. And now Barbie. <laughs> like, she's just a little cute little thing. Okay, Barbie. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I want you to be almost magical, and you're sweet, and you want to be... You want that prince to come, get that hair to come down, get to you, okay? So you just, I'm not going to give you too much. You guys just, you, just do your first fair, your version on your own, okay? And go. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a girl with the longest, most beautiful hair ever. Her name was Rapunzel. She was forced to remain in the tower until her one true love found her. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <laughs> Prince Ken, you came back. I long to be with you. But how? Hmm. I, I got it. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so that I may climb the golden stair. 
I've been waiting for this moment. So have I. <laughs> it was true love. Magically, the spell was broken, and Rapunzel was free. And of course, they lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it again. <laughs> okay, switch part. You're Barbie. No. <laughs> I'll be Rapunzel. I got lots what, of We're going to walk on the wild side tonight. <laughs> what do you say, VOP? Let's go where we're. no man has gone before. All right. You're Barbie. You're the prince. Okay. Wait. No, no, You're no. Barbie. You're Bar... No. You, go ahead. Let them just have them. I'd like to hear you guys. If you want to do this like for a real workout, though, do it as if you really are those well, characters. Let me tell you what this was for. This was actually a commercial for Target. So this oh. was this was a real oh, commercial. Wow. And they they did kind of go a little more. They wanted to, just like you guys did it, very you know cute over the, over the top. Yeah. Over the top. But if you do want to dial it down and do it more human like, that would be good. You know. It might not be as fun because I love because okay, that's probably that's how they cast it. They did him very um, animated, you know, and you did good with that. And and I loved your storytelling because you were in the moment. You really were sweet in that. You were feeling it, and she was too. But it's like you want. Why don't you guys change it up yourselves? Why don't you come up with something? See how you can. What can you do a little different? Maybe try a little more human. And try you know? looking at each other when you're talking to oh, each okay. other. Or like the guy behind you, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rapunzel! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you sound Italian! Do it, do it Italian! Do it, give us a little, come on, come on. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <laughs> I don't know. We're just, okay, we're okay. Stuff. So Are we doing it? Start, a, yeah, a start straight with the top. Or, do, no, no, I want you guys to do have fun with it. Why don't you just, because you know what? They will cast sometimes with your own version of something. I'm telling you, you might sound like you're goofing around, but they'll go, that is funny. So go with the instinct, go with the character, change it up a little bit, you know? Once upon a time, <laughs> in a faraway land, <laughs> lived the Goyle. With the longest, most beautiful hair <laughs> no, ever. <laughs> Her name was Rapunzel. <laughs> she was forced to remain in the tower until her one true love found her. Hey, <laughs> Rapunzel! <laughs> Rapunzel, you know there? <laughs> Prince Kid! <laughs> moment for like weeks, you know? <laughs> so have I. <laughs> it was true love. <laughs> Magically, the spell was broken and Rapunzel was free. <laughs> and of course, they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Just by going, flipping it over and doing a completely different vote, and this stereotype of what you thought, you right. know, what it should be, they'll go, whoa, that is so funny, and book that, you know. That was great. That was really cool. your goat wing. Wait for it! Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you guys want to keep your
your script? Oh, oh, oh my god. Keep, keep your script. Keep your script. What is that? What is that? Trivia. There's more trivia. There's more trivia. Oh my goodness. So, all right, so we're going to go for, again, another lovely signed Adventures in Odyssey poster. Actually, could you hold it? Sure. Oh, that would be lovely. Okay, and let's see. The question is, hmm. Oh, I like this. What male character did Katie revoice in a Steven Spielberg adventure film? Ah. Uh, uh, Han Solo. No. <laughs> yes, 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 Kathleen Cushing. Yay. Do another one, do another one. Winner, winner. Uh, another, I, I actually, we're almost, let's see, wait, we got what that. Okay, the, the Maharaj, oh, we've got anybody two more ever to go. see Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom? Yes. yes. Well, you know the kid with the turban? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I too have heard the rumors of the terrible thuggy cult, and I can assure you it will never happen again in my kingdom. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Katie, is that because they didn't like his voice? Or? You know what? The truth is we have absolutely no idea. I, I think it might have been a dirty track and they filmed it in India or someplace. And when I went in, I, I auditioned, I got the part. When I got to the sound stage, it was me and the engineer. No Steven Spielberg in sight. I said, Charlene, why are we doing this? She said, I don't know. <laughs> and I said, well, what do you think they want? I don't know. Can you call the director? No, he's unavailable. OK, uh, well, let's just try to match his voice the best we can, the way it is, and not change the performance. And maybe they just need a clean track. and. That's what we did, and yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. The water bottles on here. We have water so water yeah, bottles. the world of no. you know. Oh, not knowing anything. You have to really improvise, yeah. <laughs> even when you it's get the, the job. Sometimes oh. you don't. Well, the next time do that for the yeah, Molly Brown. Pretty funny. Well, okay, 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 okay. When that comes. Sir, is that box no. over there? Can you get that? There's a water oh bottle. Oh my God. In that plastic container. And like yet an another water trivia bottle? question. No, an Odyssey water bottle. Ooh. Another one. Okay. I have another. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I, we're getting we're getting our trivia prize, and so ooh, I'm excited for a special yeah, trivia yeah. prize. It's a really Blue. good prize. I made her. I tried to get her to give it to me, yes. and she said she was going to give it as a. All right. Prize. Oh, I'm and, sorry. And are you saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was very good. Okay. Tell us what they're going to win, Chris. Really? <laughs> What's your number? <laughs> Get it? I'm not cheating. Three, one, oh. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Okay, this is an Odyssey water bottle. Ooh, it nice. only holds Odyssey water. Wow. <laughs> special, special. You brought it back from. <laughs> you brought it back from right. Winona Lake. I have to tell you, this little bottle has a story to it, but I'm not telling it to you. <laughs> Well, then I will ask the trivia question. Okay. And the trivia question is, get ready, people in the live studio audience. Sorry, I'm going to save you. It's OK. And the question is, I have one. what is the ride at Disneyland that Chris voiced? Oh, Brown. Who just answered Who said that? that? I did. Oh. Who? Where? You did? That you lady's did. going on with a lot of questions. She got it oh, Amy, Amy did. Amy did her, her homework. All There's right. somebody online that wants to. Uh, everybody, I, I'm telling you, the, uh, I, no, because I didn't announce the online. No, congratulations. It's yours. All right. It's yours. Congratulations. It's yours. Huh? Yes. The Molly Brown Steamboat. But it's in Paris. Isn't the Molly Brown Steamboat. Oh, it's The Steamboat. Well, hey, you got a problem with it's in Paris? No. I was like, besides. They're not rides. Is it They're in French? Is it oh, in? Uh, mine is a. a except a, my, for Mr. Toad, it's the only. Well, ride when when else. you go on the ride, you hear the captain speaking in French. He goes, and I say, "Hi, I'm Molly Brown. I'm on an adventure here. <laughs> You're on an attraction. <laughs> I'm on a ride. We're all on an adventure. We're an adventure, adventure with Bo Peeps, Adventures in Odyssey, Adventures in Disney. We're, yeah. we're all on an Peeps. adventure. Yeah, okay. that's right. That's very cool. This I've is. Never been to Paris, so. like, oh, now it's important uh, to you. So. Huh? 
<laughs> Before I said Paris, okay, bye. You know, if you ever go on that ride, don't even, you don't know me. Okay, so. Well, ladies, I'm telling I'm gonna, we're gonna have to wrap it up. We've been, we've been broadcasting probably longer than three hours. Are we close to? George is George gone. is shaking his head, and so. Yes. Four hours? So we're going to have to wrap but it up. But where have you had this much fun but before, huh? How much fun? And so, but the last thing that we have to do is we have to draw. What? Our two lucky scholarship winners. Oh. Uh -huh. And so. Wait, let Barbie do it. <laughs> wait, 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 here. She's going to go. Wait, got stuck in her hair. Wait, she got stuck in her hair. No, no, wait. <laughs> and so we are going to draw. You know, you see this horse? This horse was recorded as a special toy for Christmas. They just, they canceled it because the speaker's in, well, the speaker's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. And, and it was so cute. We were so excited. <laughs> you did that? Yeah. I love you. Okay. It, it sounds like this because it's in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Do the, do the, do the, do the Winnie. Hello? Hello? Mom, I can't hear it. Do the Winnie sound. Do the Winnie sound. Do the Winnie sound. You're the animal one. You're my best friend. See? You're my best friend. So. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to give this away as a prize, okay? Fine. Well, I was Pinocchio well, in a C and say once. She's Pinocchio. Since, we, since you've given us such a, a lovely demonstration of, yes. of the That's talking pony. That's what we call talk. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the family show! George, George, do something about We're gonna that. We're going to edit that out in post. Okay, and so well, let's, let's do, I'm going to have you pick a lucky winner for a one on one I coaching make, session. I make couch talk. One on, one on one coaching session with Chris Anthony. So, do you really want to and do this? Me, yes, you do. <laughs> it's still going. It's a Twilight Zone horse. It's scary. Here, pick from the lucky mixing bowl. Right. This is the lucky Jerry mixing bowl. Jerry. And I'll He's... have to read it because there's, there's a name on it. Oh. So I will read. Because I can't and the read. Winner is. <laughs> Okay, go fine. I the can... winner is Daniel Kruger. Yay! Congratulations! Yay! Daniel! One-on-one coaching. Hey, I can't direct, but we'll have a good time laughing. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> all right, congratulations. And first of all, I want to say thank you very much to everyone who sure. has given so generously and supported the, the Career Scholarship Fund. Again, at, at, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Thank you so much for all of that support. And we're ready to draw our next winner oh. for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with... Okay, but Miss Katie Lee. Lee. Right. And she's good. Enjoy. She really knows what she's doing. I can't look. Unlike some of them. And you'll have to hand it to me if there's something written I'm on it. I'm getting my talking toy now, too. Oh. <laughs> it's in Spanish. S I can read it if you. Seymour? Who is this? S. Seymour? <gasps> Fred! Frank! <laughs> <laughs> Just had. Oh, yeah. if, you want, if you guys want to swap, <laughs> you, want you know what? You want to go play the lottery right now. You're on a well, roll, buddy. I, I, I got two tickets tonight. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, you win. Awesome. You might okay. get a doll too. It's Craig. Yeah. Oh, Craig. Awesome. Craig, wow. Fred. Fred, Craig. All right. Yay! Congratulations. Awesome. Oh, there you go, Seymour. Okay, I got it. Say, continue, Sam. I don't have a ticket oh, in the thing. Sorry. Danielle, did All you right. put a ticket in? Did you put a ticket okay. in? Okay. Well. I wasn't looking for Seymour. I was hey, Mr. Manjo. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you so much. Oh, my God. What a great time. We, I've just, we've had just a wonderful time. Thank you so much. And, and for our wonderful, our oh. wonderful. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. okay.
Okay. All right. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow. I'm sorry the show's it's still not over. <laughs> wait, wait. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's it. We're, oh, wait, no. We've got, uh, this is going oh, to be. that's a good one. This Merry is going to be. I should have bought it. This is going to be. A signed poster of what? Adventures in Odyssey and a gift certificate to Il Fornayo. Thank you to our <gasps> premier food sponsor. Oh, what is that? Yes. Hold gift on. certificate. Wait, look. Chris. The ticket says Chris. And the, and the, winner, <laughs> and the winner is. Hold on. Wait, everybody gets thrown back into into here. Too. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 everybody's in there. Oh, no, wait, no, we're not throwing tickets. I'm sorry, it's a trivia question. Trivia, yeah. It's a trivia what's question. Happening? My God, oh, I got all goodness. excited. Okay. Ooh. What did Ann have for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> and the question is, what and the Anne question for? is, okay, guys, everybody get ready. The question is, what famous cartoon millionaire did Katie voice? Richard Rich. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You are all fired from kindergarten. Was it Corey in the back?